Welcome to another one-on-one -on -one presented by Toyota I'm with Eli Harold, 49ers rookie linebacker. Eli, you're coming off your first start against the Cincinnati Bengals in Week 15. What are your takeaways from that game? I feel like as a defense, we did a pretty good job, you know, executing the game plan. Held those guys to the leash yards they had all season, so you know, I feel like we took a big step. When did you find out that you'd be getting the start? Right before I went out and warmed up. You know, it was just another opportunity, you know, for me to go out and, and show the fans, show the world what I can do. Is there any adrenaline that gets going? Man, you obviously know you're going to have a role, but to find out that you're going to be on the field when the team takes the field for the first time, it's get your juices going a little bit? I try not to, you know, get in all that, because when I do, you know, they say don't get too high, don't get too low. And, you know, at times I feel like I'd be too high. So I just tried to stay level-headed, you know, and I knew what I had to do. So, you know, it was just a, like I said, it was just another game. We've seen you flash this season. You've got a fumble recovery. You've got a couple quarterback hits. You've got a tackle for loss. You were chasing Gio Bernard all around the field on Sunday. Still waiting for that first sack. I know that's something that you take pride in. And so do you feel like it's coming? It's just around the corner? Yeah, I feel like it's just around the corner. You know, I'm beating myself all season, you know, not with not having one. But, you know, I feel like I'm getting better, you know, each and every week, you know, planning against the run. You know, that was a, a big focus for me coming in. You know, guys keep telling me I'm too small, telling me this and that, not strong. You know, I don't let that get into my head and, and try to mess me up. But, you know, the sack, it's going to come. You know, I'm not worried about it. It's gonna come just like all the other plays gonna come. Do you have a, a patented sack celebration? I don't. I'm not gonna do anything. When I get it, it's gonna be just like I made another play, man. You know, I'm not I'm not into all of it. You said you've gotten better. I mean, wh where's one area or two areas where you say, man, I'm a different guy than I was at the beginning of the season when I got drafted? My hands um, and just knowing how to play the position. You know, I never dropped back in coverage in my life. You know, um, this is my first time. And you know, I just feel like my hands have gotten so much better. You know, I'm, I'm strong. And, um, you know, playing against the big guys, you know, I feel like I've progressed each week, you know, with, with my great, the way I've graded out with Coach Tarver. Have you enjoyed getting that versatility in your game, the ability to, to cover tight ends and running backs out of the backfield? Oh, yeah, man, I love it. You know, I feel like I've always been an athletic guy who can run. So, you know, covering kicks and doing all that stuff, I feel like it helps me, you know, with, you know, playing each down you know, the special team stuff and, you know, covering tight ends and running back, you know, just showing my versatility, I love it. Jim Tomsula says he likes what he's seen from you, especially of late, but that you're working on adding some mass to your body and getting some muscle on it and, and really building into your frame. So when you lay in the guys, there's more force there. Is that kind of going to be your focus of the off season? Yeah, that's my number one focus, adding weight, you know, getting about 260, 265. That's my goal. And I'm not going to lose any speed, you know. I've when I was 220, you know, and now I'm 250, you know, I didn't lose any speed. I actually got faster, so I feel like, you know, that would be the best thing for me to add those, you know, a few more pounds and, and get a little stronger. You know, I feel like I'd be unstoppable and, you know, with constant reps and, you know, being able to get into a rhythm, into a football game, you know, instead of being thrown in and taken out, you know. I feel like that'll help me a lot. It's a deep group of defensive linemen and linebackers in that front seven. Is there maybe a guy or a veteran on the team in the locker room that's kind of helped you as a mentor a little bit? Quentin Dow, you know, obviously Bo, you know, um, Quentin, he's a, you know, he's a, he's a good man, you know, he's a family man and he does a lot to help his body. You know, he's in the training room each and every day in the tubs and he's a pro. He doesn't mess up. You know, he does everything the right way on the field. You know, he does what he's supposed to do. And he helps guys out like me, you know, the young guys. I feel like he's been the number one guy who I've looked up to and that has helped me out the most. 